here it is on Amazon surprisingly enough it's only thirty dollars normally but they had at least the time making the video ten dollars off making it twenty bucks and the way it delivers that's totally worth it Caddis Maximus here this time with another promotional product although I'm pulling away from doing these little simple products I just kinda wanted some of the big power banks took a couple of jump starters one was a Astro AI which worked out pretty well then I got this one which I was going to use as a power bank I actually deleted the video because this thing was fake it supposedly is 16,000 milliamp hours and it used like 65 70 percent from 100 down to 30 just to charge a phone this one actually looked like a higher quality unit this is Evatronic and it's a pretty good price $30 normally and they have $10 off and I'll show that in a second we'll just unpackage it here but this unit is a 20,000 milliamp hour or 20 amp hour 74 watt hour battery and it's rated to deliver about 66 watt hours which is kind of interesting decent packaging if we can't get this cable out of here there we go with the USB-C to USB-C cable this one actually seems like a pretty decent unit. I've already charged it up. First thing, part of how it feels decent is it's really heavy. This is only, what, 25% more than this. It's more compact and probably feels 30% heavier. It's just obvious. It's just <laughs> really <laughs> that big of a difference. So anyway, this one is much better. It has a nice uh, LED segmented display. It does have the little peel right here on this lens. So we'll try to get this peel off. There we go. Come on now. Oh, I kind of scratch. Oh, it's okay. So there's that. And what I liked about this is it's rated to deliver quite a bit of wattage uh, apparently and if, it's really kind of hard to see here but these are two quick charge Qualcomm quick charge 18 watt outputs and then this is apparently a 20 watt output USB-C we also have a micro USB input but unlike many of these others or that black one that I just showed it has a nice peel there too actually is a nice unit feels nice pretty compact uh, what I was gonna say is this is actually pretty nice because it can be charged either by a USB micro USB if that's the cable you have but the USB C is actually an in and an out it's a actually a smart one so if I use it to charge my phone it will go on output but if I plug this into a USB C charger it will use the USB C as an input and so since you can use the USB-C as both an input and output, I thought, well, why on earth would they include a micro USB uh, dedicated port? And apparently that's just a little bit of thoughtfulness because you can plug it in via micro USB and then be able to use uh, the USB-C as an output port. So I thought that was okay. Let's take a quick look at the book. And then I'm going to do a test since this is now charged up to 100%. And this is a Galaxy S8 Active with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. It's several years old, so it's, the battery capacity is not that good. But we're at 33% here. So I'm going to see how much of this power bank gets used up putting 66% charge, 67% charge on a phone that has like a four-year-old battery and it's probably been recharged a thousand times uh, to see how well it delivers. And that's really like the test that tests the efficiency of the conversion circuitry from the pouch cell that's in there to, you know, what it's delivering. And I should real fast here take a quick look. Uh, well written instructions are actually pretty decent, but here's the specifications of the P power delivery input uh, 18 watts. The in input, the micro USB, is actually a Qualcomm quick charge compatible and it's also 18 watts so you can fast charge it in either of the ports this is kind of interesting how they do the specifications 20, 20 amp hour 74 watt hour battery but it's a rated capacity is at 
you would say 5500 and I thought what on earth but that's 12 volts at 1.5 amps so they're kind of doing it a different calculation 66 watt hours of rated capacity or what it may deliver so we'll you know kind of get a good estimate as far as that power delivery output 12 volts at 1.5 amps it says 20 watts max which is interesting because 12 times 1.5 is 18 but it may give you a, a little bit of a boost on the amperage and the quick chart qual the Qualcomm quick charge is also the same 12 volts at 1.5 amps and they have this total output 5 volts at 3 amps and I'm not exactly sure what that means or it may be that if you have are using it can only deliver a quick charge at one port at a time but if you use multiple ports at the same time then it drops them all down to 5 volts which is something common on multi-port chargers so I won't give them uh, too much uh, hassle about that other than that it has a year and a half or an 18 month warranty or a warranty and so I thought that was decent it was actually more than a year it's a year and a half which is something for a battery powered piece of electronics it's really not that bad so anyway I'm gonna do my little test I'm gonna see how much capacity it uses to charge this four-year-old phone that has a battery that's been cycled you know hundreds and hundreds of times and uh, I'm gonna use the little cable it came with I'll be back so I'm back and all that talk it did it only used 15 percent of this battery even though this is an old phone this has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery that's uh, down by quite a bit but nonetheless it charged it from 33 percent to hundred percent however much energy its battery needed I forgot to put in the little tracker but this actually delivered an expected amount expected uh, amount of efficiency took only 15 percent to charge that up and this was what I was expecting there's I mean like the last one I believe the video that last battery bank I guess jump starter thing because it sucked this actually this delivers like you'd expect it it's heavy because it actually has a you know genuine capacity rated cell in there not just some such low tier cell that it doesn't actually re deliver this actually did uh, and does deliver um, and it's surprising that they have it for so cheap especially with um, the 10% off like uh, to tell you the truth for 20 bucks this is actually worth it um, it takes a long time to charge but it's actually as expected to tell you the truth if it has 18 watt charge and it's trying to fill up a 72 watt hour battery plus you know charger losses it's going to take like five hours to charge this thing so they probably should have had like a 30 watt charge or something really high power but those chargers uh, aren't very common unless you have like a new you know flagship phone or something like that so at least it does have the 18 watt and at least it's smart you can use micro USB to charge it or you can use the USB-C to both uh, charge it and discharge it anyway I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do until next time Caddis Maximus out oh and I always forgot I think I should mention one more time is the density of this thing this thing is surprisingly heavy Caddis Maximus here I'm just kinda of redoing the very beginning of this video to say that this is actually uh, a battery bank that's worth the money it actually delivers the way it is it takes a long time to charge but really actually it has a rated you know it the battery in it actually does deliver it's a rated capacity a lot of these cheap ones don't this one actually seems to be more than worth the money with the quick charging you can charge it with micro USB you can also charge or discharge through the USB-C uh, it does drop down to 5 volts if you're using all the ports or multiple ports at the same time otherwise they're all quick charge 18 watt ports although it gives you an extra couple watts 20 watts on the when using the output of the USB-C 
18 watts charging. It says it delivers 66 watt hours. It has a 74, or really it's 3.6 volt, but I guess they're doing the 3.7. So 74 watt hour battery, and surprisingly enough, it delivers. And 